two, and three, and squeeze all together down. Let's do one more round. Squeeze one, two, and three, and squeeze all the way down. Now lift up and hold. Point your toe and make sure the circle is squeezed. Knees are up if you can. This is a choice that you should try, keeping your thighs up or down. You choose. Show you what happens next. I'm going to stretch my arms and swim. That's all. Show you here. One. Two. Just like that. So sweep, bend, and reach. Okay? Let's try. Everybody, together, point or flex your ankle. Make sure you're squeezing the circle nicely and tightly. Lift the knees just a tiny bit, and when you're ready, stretch. One. Two. Breathe in. And out. Three. Four. Five. Keep squeezing your circle and the buttocks. Six. You have different variation in the hand position. Just move like this. Seven. Eight. Two more. Keep squeezing the circle. Nine. One more. And down. Release. Let's hold that circle and bring it in front of you. For the next exercise, we focus on upper body, okay? Keep your legs nice and tight. If you can keep them together would be the best option. Your weight should be on your pubic bone here and your rib cage, the bottom of your rib cage. Hands will be in the front. When you're ready, lift both your hands up. Include that circle. If you don't have a circle, you could still do this exercise just like this, okay? Ready? Legs tight, buttocks tight, squeeze it together. When you're ready, lift. Inhale and exhale to lift. Inhale down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Work it out. Eight, you can do this. Nine, let's do one more and then the challenge. Up here, drop a little and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Whew. That did work, isn't it? Into your upper mid back. Let's come back and give yourself a little bit of stretch here for your back. Sit upright with your legs in front of you. Now, just a few more exercises here where first part is a flexion. Really want you to work on nice stretch on the back. Put your hand in the front like this. As you inhale, on the exhalation, just press into the circle. Now, if you do not have the fitness circle or this ring, you could simply round your back to bend forward and then come back up. We've done this before, okay? Legs will be slightly wider than your mat, okay? Whenever you're ready. If you have a circle, this is really beneficial. You just have to press from your abs. Inhale to release. And again, exhale. Inhale to release. Breathe out and just compress. And again, and again, two more to go. Should feel your tummy and release everything back. Now, put your hands right in the front. In this practice, you're going to squeeze the circle as you rotate your spine 
and then stretch your arms forward over the foot and then pull back in and then release. Okay, simple. I'll show you again or we could try it together. Sit up tall, rotate as you inhale and exhale to stretch and bend forward. Inhale to pull back and exhale to return. Inhale, rotate and exhale to stretch your arm right over your foot. Reach further, let the circle go far. And then roll back up and then come back in. Let's try again. Rotate and squeeze the circle forward. And squeeze the circle back in, release. Rotate, inhaling, exhale, squeeze the circle, reach your hand forward and squeeze and come back. If you don't have a circle, keep going if you have a circle. If you don't have it, you could rotate your spine and stretch like this and come back up, sit upright. Other side, rotate and just stretch and come back up. Repeat that. One more round, everybody, together. Exhale to stretch, inhale to pull back, and exhale as you release it back down. Now is the extension exercise. So to do the next exercise, let's lay down on your back. From here, keep the hands, uh, circle in your hands. Check your feet are to your hip distance. Lift your pelvis in the air. Now you need to make sure that your pelvis stays up all time in the air. Whenever you're ready, take your hands fully up. If you're ready, take your one leg up. Hold it there. First part of this exercise is to flex your ankle lower and lift up. If you don't have the fitness circle, if you don't have this ring, you put your hands by side, okay? And then work the same thing. Up, one, two, make sure your pelvis is up, three, now you have no hand support, which makes it really intense, five, and six, put it down. Again, we don't want to lose the form, that's why we do limited number of repetitions. Okay, try the other leg. Do the six. One, two, Three, it's exhale every time the leg goes down, it's inhale every time the leg goes up. And six times, lift the hips up and roll your spine down. Let's repeat, one more round. Lift the hips up, same side, okay? Ready, stretch your leg, up and down. One, two, three, four, Five, one more, and six. Put your feet down, hips up. Ready? Take the leg up to the ceiling or down here from here. You start from any point. Inhale, exhale. One, two, three. Just work. Four, five, and six. Put your hips up nice and high and roll your spine down and release. Let's come up. We're going to stand up. For the next series of exercises, all the exercises are done in standing, okay? So to get started, first thing you have to do is take the circle with you and then just stand up. So to start with, first part is to step your one foot forward and one foot backward. Now, if you don't have the fitness circle, it's all right, okay? We still can work it. So, let's find ourselves in a good position. From this, you notice that my one of the foot is back and, and quite far, okay? And this leg is right in the front. So, I'm going to take my hands up to the ceiling and hold this position. Whenever you're ready, lower the pelvis and the knee, and lift up, one, and two, we do it six times, three, four, 
five and six. In the next round, you're going to pull and squeeze the circle. So bring your hands in the front and pull. One, step back. Two, step back. And three, just working, same way, pull and stretch. Four, woo, don't fall. And five, it's a little bit of balance here. And six, next one, squeeze and hold. Now, right from here, rotate. One, two, make sure your pelvis is stable and squeeze. Three, again, squeeze. Four, almost there. Five, last time. And six, you release. Let's change to the other side. First part is to step your foot back and take your hands up like this, right in front, uh, on top. Lower the pelvis, lift. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep working and pull yourself up nicely here and stretch and pull. One, two, long, pull. Three, every time you pull, you're squeezing the circle gently. Four, five, one more, and six. Now, pull up and hold. Now, rotation, ready? One, two, rotate, three, four, five, one more time, and six, oops, and release. Right, let's try another technique here. So we're going to step the left foot forward right foot backward just adjust your leg okay one foot front one foot back right from this position first part is you keep your hands here this time you're going to pull out towards your chest ready so let's pull inhale to return one and two and three again pull four pull it out five and six. Now rotation towards the front leg. So pull and rotate. One, come back in. Rotate. Two, you need to pull the circle out. And three, make sure your spine is nice and straight. You're not leaning forward, backward. Four, five, one more. And six, release. Let's change to the other side. And this time you'll have your right leg in the front. I'm just doing this way. <laughs> okay, so you can see what's happening next. Ready? So pull out. One, two, three, almost done. Four, and pull apart. Five, and six. Adding a rotation, pull and one and two, three, just work that, four, five, one more time, and six, maintaining a good balance. Now, take your one leg up, hands in the front. Ready, squeeze the circle now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, release. Again, one, two, seven, release. One last, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. and release, change. Other leg comes up, hands in the front. Ready, we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. release. Again, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. And release. Finally, the triceps. To do this, put your hands up to the ceiling. 
yes? So from here, bend your elbows, squeeze the circle and press it forward. Bend, squeeze and press forward. Two, inhale, and three. Simple, just the movement of the elbow. Four, five, so very good exercise for people with tennis elbow. Six, your shoulder will get better. Seven, eight, nine, and 10, very good. As the shoulder becomes better, more mobility, more stable, the elbow pain goes away, okay? That's the main reason why you have tennis elbow, because you're hitting from wrong places, not really using your shoulder. So let's move on to the next one. So this time your hand will go up, and when you bend, you're actually rounding your back. I'm not doing a squat, okay? Please don't do this. Try to fully round, ready? Like you're throwing a ball. Back in, squeeze, one, two, three, just like that, and squeeze, four, and five, and six, release it down. Let's finish it with the round down here, a side bend. Come back up, and you can pull apart and come back up. One more time, just a nice stretch to the side. Come back up, the other side, and come back up. From here, pull the chin down to the chest, and round your back fully. Pull the circle out and roll your spine all the way to stand upright. That's all. <laughs> so, how do you feel right now? With this kind of training, with use of small tools, you can really work uh, some deep muscles in your body. Okay, it, it really, you could feel that even though it seems like such a simple kind of workout, this tool is not even hard. Um, you know, you could feel that the muscle connection is, is much more deeper. Now, some of you who don't have it, I would definitely recommend you guys to just purchase one of these circles, okay, easily can be found in any of these um, online stores. Please buy one of them because we're going to include more exercises on that. So that will be very, very helpful. Mm, yeah, everything else is fine. So. I'm keeping fit. I hope you guys are keeping fit too. And please drink lots of water, okay, all day. If there's any question regarding your uh, health, anything, let me know. Uh, if you feel very sore in your muscles, because we've been training, right? Some of you have been doing almost every day. If you feel a lot of soreness in the muscle, water does help. But you could also take um, um, a bunch of different juices, like beetroot juice could be a very beneficial um, because it does the oxidization, okay? It provides oxygen quickly, relaxes muscles. Another very good juice that I usually and every day take is the pomegranate. So if you can have, you know, cold-pressed pomegranate juice, uh, you can easily find around this area. Um, just look for it, and if you need any help on that, just let me know. This all helps you to relax your muscles faster. That's it, washing off all the lactic acid. Everything is good. Please take care of yourself and your family. And I'll see you again tomorrow for the next class.